All right, and welcome to a Polly Polly Poo Poo Tron review. Right, now then, I did pick up uh, the smaller figures of this line because to me, the, I mean, these look nicer, but I mean, who are they going to go with? They're not, like, apart from their own standalone kind of series. They're not really going to fit with anything else that I've got. Whereas the smaller ones will go with G.I. Joe, they'll go with the Marvel stuff. You know, to me they're kind of like, the likes of these uh, black guards or whatever they are. To me, would make excellent, like, bad guy team against Iron Man or something like that. So, yes, anyway, I picked this Delete, Delete? No, <laughs> Deluxe. Uh... I think I was trying to say Elite for some strange reason. Tron Legacy figure. Now, confession time, I have not seen Tron Legacy, nor have I seen the original Tron, which, <coughs> shock horror, how the hell did you get to 34 years old without ever seeing Tron? I don't know. I have seen bits of it and things, but I don't know kind of roughly what it's all about. I just, I don't know. I mean, doing this kind of review makes me think, nah, maybe I might go and watch it now. Uh, just to say what all this is about and how it fits in but because I haven't seen it I will be seeing things in this video like hmm this reminds me of this or this kind of reminiscence to that uh, i.e. there's something about this that kind of there's something about Hellboy in this for some strange reason seems to be a kind of zzzz in my head so pretty much the deluxe figures do what the little basic I guess the basic ones do which is light up which you can try me uh, and that does actually look pretty nice. The other figures that I was playing with in the shop, uh, the Sam Flynn and Levitz Kluf, have like a, a fierce computer screen thing, which when you press it, like the talk. Um, I'm hoping when I open this up, I'm not going to be amazed by it, if you know what I mean. I mean, I do quite, kind of quite like it. And the reason why I did pick it up is because of his wings. Uh, I kind of thought that looked really, really cool. They had these kind of butterfly, kind of moth, kind of wings going on, kind of reminded us of Arthur from the Tick. So anyway, so I saw so it again, two ninety nine. So I thought, three quid, I'll take a pop. Hopefully, I won't love them and then want to get the rest. Uh, I mean, there is only four in the set, so that's like just under twelve quid. But you know, uh, so I'll get them. I'll do a review and have them. So. I'll open them up now and uh, tell you my thoughts on how I think he he is and what you know what he's on about. Uh, so I'll use my scissors here. Just put the tape off. What's the bother? Pretty sure the sound will be going pretty wick now because uh, there we go. Right, some instructions. And he's only held in by a, a little clip on the back there, so that's not too bad. Gone are the days where figures are absolutely get tied down to death with their uh, cable ties. That used to be fun opening figures back in the day. Now that I was curious as to whether this was detachable or not, and it is, so that's pretty good. So I've got these little frisbee and these little nunchuckery looking things. Uh, I think that's everything out of the packet. Right, let's have a look at the figure. Um, yeah, he's. Pretty nice looking. Uh, articulation wise, let's have a look. So, he, does his ankle move? Yep. Looks like it. Yeah, pretty much the plastic over the ankle is quite nice. So, it uh, actually has more movement than it looks. One thing I didn't quite like looking at the packet is the kind of the, the way the legs are because it doesn't really look like you can do that much with them, sort of posing wise. So, maybe get him a little bit doing something like that. 
it isn't the best look, to be fair. Uh, I guess he's just supposed to stand pretty much just straight up. Like that. Yeah, that's a nice uh, feature with the gas mask thing going on. And the little uh, little point on his side of his head. Bit of a Batman y type of thing. Uh, let's have a look at his shoulder articulation. Uh, so we can do a close line. So yeah, I mean it's actually pretty basic artic I mean it's not the worst, but it's certainly not what I would class as deluxe articulation. Um he is very much just a sure piece, the looks is in the detail is very nice and looks very nice. I'll put his wings on. See how they go on. Yeah, clip on quite nice actually. Nice and tidy looking. I don't know if I'll put them on the right way. I don't know, I think I have. Yes, that's the right way. Yeah, bear with us whilst I stick his wings on. I think it's a bit easier to stick his bottom one in first. There you go, if you're putting them in, I dare say the instruction probably tells you, but put them in the bottom first. So there you go, he's now like, it looks like he's got a ceiling fan stuck on his back. Which I suppose I'll put over there so you can see a bit better. There you go. Um, right on Pretty sure this disc goes on his back, but probably not when you've got the wings on, so I'll have to take them off to put it on and put this on. I'm not sure if looking at the cartoon, because the cartoon looks pretty good as well, actually. Uh, I think these things are kind of like uh, like handlebars rather than batons or something. So, like from what I can gather, you press the button on this, and then like a bike appears or a scooter or I think what other vehicles you might have. So, see if that clips on the back there any particular way. He answers he's just going to be back in an hour. So, for three quid, would I say pick him up? If I guess if you're into Tron, uh, for three pounds, you probably would be quite happy with this. As far as an action figure goes, it's not really that great of an action figure. It's a nice display piece, kind of, you know, uh, show piece, I guess. Um, but in this scale, to me, the smaller figures work a lot better because they're, they're more movable, you can do a lot more with them. I mean, there he is stood next to a six inch Marvel Legend and he's quite a bit taller. And here he is stood next to Megazord. And he's quite a bit smaller. So it's a very odd scale, like I say, it kind of doesn't really go with anything else. So unless you just wanted the four Tron figures uh, on display, then you're probably worth picking it up. If you're not really bothered about them, then pick one up just to have a look at them and see what you think. But I think I'll, uh, I think I'll go and watch Tron now and find out what exactly the Black Guards do. Uh, I'm assuming it's some sort of foot soldier thing. So there you go, and I'll catch you later on.